Hi everybody, this is T. Rajasheka, lecturer in Botany, Srimadhi Ganganeni Kalyani Government Degree College, Vinikonda, Guntu District. In this video lecture, I am going to learn types of viruses, different symmetries and different shapes of viruses. We all know that viruses are the smallest uh, living entities. They cannot carry any metabolic activity, any action on their own because they don't have a cell, cell wall, plasma membrane and any other cell organelle. So that they cannot uh, carry out any metabolic activity on their own. They completely depend upon different hosts. Hence viruses are called obligate intracellular parasites. They don't have even the right name because of their complete dependence over the host. That is why they are named after the host which they attack. Like that there are different types of viruses basing upon the host which they infect. Phytophages, Jewphages, Sinophages, Phycophages, Mycophages, Zymophages and Bacteriophages. If you observe all these terms, one thing is found common, that is suffix phage. Phage means virus, whereas the suffix represents the host, which actually the virus attacks. Phytophages are the viruses which attack plants. Jewphages are the viruses which infect animals. Cyanophages are the viruses which attack cyanobacteria. Phycophages are the viruses which attack different algae. As we all know, the study of algae is called phycology. The term phyco has been taken from that uh, term so that the viruses which attack algae are generally called phycophages. Similarly, mycophages. Myco means fungi. The phages which attack fungi are called mycophages. Gymophages, gymo means yeast organisms. The viruses which attack yeast are called gymophages. Yeast also come under fungi, but separately they are called gymophages, the viruses which attack yeast. Similarly, bacteriophages, the viruses which attack bacteria. We all know that viruses are smallest living entities, they range just nanometers. All the viruses are generally range between 5 to 300 nanometers. Bacteriophages are the viruses which attack bacteria. We all know that bacteria are very smallest living organisms. And the viruses which attack bacteria must also be, must be very smallest microorganisms in the world. Here in this picture you can see the structure of bacteriophage. It is a tadpole like structure with the helical symmetry. The head is also called uh, the head is uh, uh, with Q barrel symmetry and the tail is the helical symmetry and uh, at the bottom of tail you can see base plate from which is six tail fibers are formed head and tail are connected with the collar region so in the other video lecture we will take the clear details and clear structural details of bacteriophage. So, among different viruses, the smallest viruses we know are bacteriophages and the largest virus is vaccinia. Just like, I mean, types, different types of viruses, there are different shapes in viruses. Some are uh, round in shape, some are polyhedral, some are helical, some are tadpole like, some are bullet shaped, some are rectangle shaped. Generally, spherical shaped viruses are seen commonly, they are round in shape. Example, polio virus, influenza virus, etc. TMV virus comes under rod shaped viruses with helical symmetry. And polyhedral shaped or cuboidal shaped they are with 20 faces. Each face is like a triangle. They are like satellites almost. 
with the uh, spikes example adenovirus and uh, as you see the bacteriophages are tadpole shaped rhabdoviruses are bullet shaped viruses and the vaccinia the biggest known virus is a rectangular shaped virus so we can see lot of diversity in the shape of viruses and when you come to the symmetry what is symmetry the arrangement of capsomeres in the capsid region is called symmetry if you observe the symmetry of all the viruses they all must come under three types of different symmetries they are helical symmetry cubical or cuboidal symmetry or icosahedral symmetry all are one and the same and the binal symmetry as you see in the slide the first figure represents helical symmetry the best example for this is tobacco mosaic virus here in the capsid region the capsomeres are arranged in a helical manner if you observe the middle diagram that represents cubical or cuboidal or icosahedral symmetry here the shape is like a cube it is with 20 faces each face is like a triangle and the third type is binary symmetry the combination of both helical and the icosahedral cuboidal symmetry so the mixed type of symmetry the head is like a cube whereas the tail is like a helical before concluding this video i would like to recall the, the different characters of viruses which we have come across viruses show different shapes different structures different symmetries and they don't have special name or separate name for them just they are named after the host which they attack and if you observe the chemical structure of viruses generally they are known as nucleoproteins they contain only two components capsid that is outer protein coat made up of capsomeres and the inner core region is with the nucleic acid it must be either dna or rna but never both they can be changed from one to another form in case of retrograde family viruses generally all the viruses are with only one type of nucleic acid as we all know phytophages mycophages phycophages all plant viruses are with the rna genetic material and all animal viruses and um, bacteriophages are with DNA but there are some plant viruses which are with DNA genetic material best example for that are Talflower mosaic virus and Dahlia mosaic virus CMV and DMV similarly the animal viruses which are with the RNA are influenza virus and polio virus as we all know DNA is double stranded and RNA is single stranded but contrast to that there are some viruses which show single stranded DNA as genetic material. They are Paroviridae family members 5 into 174 and Gemini viridae family members. Similarly the viruses with double stranded RNA are rice dwarf virus, blue tongue virus and mycoviruses. I hope you have understand the entire video. We'll meet again with another video lecture. Till then, bye. Thank you very much.